Um, again, our goal, all right, our goal, guys, is to eliminate this t. We want an equation in only in terms of x's and y's. Agreed? Yeah. OK. So um, let's go and see how we can represent this. Well, we don't want to, if we try to solve for t, first of all, we can't, if we like tried to solve for t, you would divide by 4. So you had x over 4 is equal to cosine cosine of t, right? And then to solve for t, what would you have to do? You'd actually have to use cosine inverse. And then x is over 4. And then, guess what? Then that gets plugged into that equation. And then do you have any idea what that looks like? I have no idea what that's going to look like, right? So that's not really going to help us out. So we need something else. And what we need to do is actually go back to what we, some things that we've previously previously have um, taught, which is um, sorry, I'm looking at this. So what happens when we have x squared plus y squared equals, I'm sorry, x, sorry. Ah, la, 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 bad, bad, bad. Not that. Sorry. What about this? Sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. So could we solve for x and, could we solve for sine and cosine in both these examples? Sure. We could say cosine of t is equal to x over 4, and sine of t is equal to y over 4. Now again, what do these really represent? Remember, this is really, guys, sine of theta squared plus cosine of theta squared equals 1. Yes? So now that we have cosine and sine represented, I basically have x over 4 squared plus y over 4 squared equals 1. And then this gives me x squared over 16 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. Does anybody know what that is the equation of? Not yet. So I was kind of getting ahead of myself. I was writing this. Does anybody know what this is the equation of? Yeah, but what does that represent on a, what does this give the equation of? That's the equation of a circle, right? From geometry class. So this doesn't exactly look like that. However, if I multiplied by a 16 on both sides, I would get x squared plus y squared equals 16, which gives me a circle. <laughs> and I'm not going to ask you this, but does anybody remember where the center is of this circle? If you guys remember, remember the h of this circle? It's at 0, 0. What's the radius? One. Four. No, this one. It would be 4. Right? It's r squared is equal 16. Just a quick little review on good old geometry stuff. 